Welcome back to the Crochet Credit Source my friends over at Jimmy Beans Wool. Today I have my own pattern and this is It's a Beautiful World shawl. This is a really delicate shawl. This is using really quite thin yarn and a small size hook. A US 7, a four and a half millimeter size hook and we're going to be using yarn that is transitioning today. So this is one of my own patterns. Now there's a lot of written instructions when it comes to this information because it is one of my own designs. It's a little more detailed than normal and what it is is that it will look like this. So you'll see that it's transitioning. So I used in the original sample of mine of it, this. It's called Red Heart. It's a wrap rainbow but on Jimmy Beans Wool they have more other yarns that also do this which has also been linked with this pattern which you'll find. So the trick to this is that when I started the project I started from the middle going outward and you can see that it goes into the white and then I grab a secondary ball and I start the second ball from the outside going back to the interior of the ball and that's what gives it this look here. So you can see the uh, outs, uh, inside of the ball to the out and then outside back in like that and this is kind of fun. So today's pattern is actually I can sub make it actually a lot easier for you because I have done the crochet diagrams for you. So if you like diagrams today is your lucky day because we can follow this uh, step by step through diagram format. So when I was working through this I noticed that there's a different things that are repeating over and over and that's the way I designed it as well. So you can see repeat rows number 26 to 27 five times and you can kind of see how that's gonna go. So when you see this particular charting you'll see that it will transition from one chart to the other. So as we continue along and just flip up um, the charting is the way that I can test patterns as well. So you can kind of see how it's doing that and then we have the final fringe on the on the back page right here. So if you want all of this it is a free pattern available on Jimmy Beans Wool and today I'm gonna take you through step by step because the fact is is that I can show you just a small swatch take you through all the different uh, steps that you need to do and you just have to just go wider. So without further ado let's talk about the repeat pattern of this and the multiples. So as I told you it's a repeat pattern. So what we have here is that this here is the repeat. So it's multiples at 12 plus 4. So if you wanna change the yarn, change the hook size, change anything. If you chain in multiples of 12 and then add 4 to the end of the chain you will have the balance so you'll be able to do this particular concept. So I'm going to just show you a small little swatch as I take you through all the rows that we're going to do today and the yarn will transition on its own. So I'm going to be using just a regular yarn so that you don't get confused by the color changing uh, that's happening but um, the color changing for me uh, makes it quite addictive and the yarn that uh, Jimmy Beans is uh, suggesting as well is really quite delicate and really quite an awesome shawl so that you could act or an awesome wrap and you can actually um, you know do that very casually or dress it up for a formal occasion. So without further ado let's uh, head right on into this project and let's get ourselves started with the beginning chain. Just to quickly recap one more second. So all the different stitch key information is right here. It's on the last page so you can just put that aside and just keep that and the instructions for how to do those stitches are also in the written instructions as well. So I'm going to be following this step by step through the diagram format. So let's get started today. If you would like to do the exact sample the way that it's written you're going to chain 414 using your four and a half millimeter size seven crochet hook if you would like to and you can use that sheepish whirl that they're suggesting as well for that. Also I'm going to be using a five and a half millimeter size uh, eye hook here which is carrying one pound just to demonstrate and we're going to begin. So either chain 414 or chain in multiples of 12 plus 4. So if you're doing that you just go 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's one repeat. I'm gonna do it again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's a second set. So you just keep on doing that until you're satisfied and then when you're satisfied just add 4. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is your beginning chain. Let's begin row number 1. So let's begin row number 1. We're going to put a treble in 6 chain from the hook. So just count it back. So just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and that's where we're gonna treble. So wrap that hook twice. This is an intermediate level project for those that are interested to know that. Now we're going to skip only one stitch and you are going to put a five double crochet cluster. So how you're going to do that is that you're gonna wrap the hook and you're gonna go to the second chain over and you're going to double crochet like that. So you're not gonna finish it. You're just gonna put like five double crochet together but it's called a cluster. So you just keep on doing this 
until you can see six loops on the hook. So that includes the five plus the beginning. So pull that through everything like that. So at the end of the cluster you're going to just tightly do a chain one and that'll lock it to keep it nice together and then you're going to move on. So skipping two chains you're gonna go to the third chain over and you're going to treble. And then you're going to chain three. So one, two, three. And in the same one, the same chain, you're going to trouble again. And I'll be right back in just a moment. So now that that's in, you're going to then skip two chains and you're going to do that five double crochet cluster again. So in the third chain away. So you're just gonna keep on gathering. I just had to make sure the dog was okay. She doesn't bark like that normally. So I'm making sure nobody's here. So we're gonna get that done. You have your six loops, pull through and then chain one tightly to lock it. And what this is doing is it's making it pop out the right side of the project. So continuing along, you're going to just skip two chains and treble into the third one. Chain three and then trebling into the same one. So you're creating this really unique formation here on the edge. Okay, so now five double crochet cluster. So skipping two and you're gonna do this all the way across your chain. So I'll see you near to the end of the chain in just a moment. So you're just gonna get, uh, keep on. So now that that trouble's in, another five double crochet cluster. Now what I need you to do is just continue to do this all the way across your chain and I'll see you at the end of the chain in just a few moments. I'm almost there but I will uh, just speed you through there in just a second. So just pulling through, make sure you do that chain one to lock it and then continue that formation and this is what it should look like. You are going to then just skip the next one and go into the last one and you are going to create that shape of, of doing a treble. So you're gonna do a treble and because it's the end you're only gonna chain one and then put another treble into the same chain. So you can see that the end pieces are slightly different from these pieces. These are more open than these. So now you're gonna turn your work and let's continue on into row number two. In row number two you're going to just simply just chain up one and you are going to put one single crochet in the first treble that you see and then in the chain one space you'll put one single crochet and then here's what we have to do from this point going forward. We need to see this uh, five double crochet cluster. We're going to put in a single crochet in the space between this treble. We are going to put one single crochet in the top of that cluster and then one single space or sorry one single crochet in the space after that cluster and that really makes that thing stand out and pop just like that. Once you get that done you go to this chain three space and apply three single crochets there. So one, two, three and now come into this next piece. So here's the repeat going across. So you're ignoring these trebles that you see. So you're going to go into the space before the cluster. You're gonna go into the space or go into the cluster itself and then the space after and they're all single crochets and then jump to the next chain three space and do the same thing. So three single crochet, go into the space before the cluster, do the cluster, space after the cluster and you'll do this all the way across. So just put me on pause if you just need to hold and then you're gonna come into the end in just a second. So just put me on pause now and we'll talk about the end. So if you're ready to move on to the end how you're going to do it is that you are going to put one single crochet in the chain one space and then you were going to put in a single crochet and it's about the fourth one up right there and that will conclude then row number two. So you can see it looks more stable at this point. Well stable, stable gets right. So turn your work and let's do row number three. So row number three you're going to just chain up one and put one single crochet in the first single crochet. You're now going to chain only three. So one, two, three and you're going to skip a total of five stitches. Here's the trick you're looking for the middle one of these here. That's where you're going okay in this particular instance. So one, two, three, four, five. So you're skipping the five. So the middle one is 
right there which is the sixth one and you were going to put three single crochets there. So one, two, three. Then you're going to chain three. So one, two, three. Skipping the next five but if you can see the middle one which I can of the next one here if you pull it apart it's the middle one. So one, two, three, four, five. It's the sixth one away. You'll put three single crochets and you're gonna do that all the way across. This is row number three in this instance. So we're creating spaces for the future. So one, two, three, skipping five, one, two, three, four, five, and then coming to the sixth one away. It's the middle one. I can see it. If you can see it, great. Less counting for you. And then eventually you come to the end. So put me on hold now if you need to get to the end. But for those that are ready, right where we are, we're ready for the end. So just chain up three and then you're just gonna go immediately to the last stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, you're skipping and the end is one single crochet by itself. And then turn your work and this is what it looks like so far. As we start row number four, four, five, six, and seven is a repeat then for this whole section. So I'm going to take you through it and then you have to repeat it three times and then you are going to repeat four and five just once after that. So I'll cover that in just a moment. So let's begin row number four. So chaining up one, you're going to put one single crochet into the first one and you are going to put a total of five single crochets in this chain three space. So one, two, three, four, and five. So it's way too generous for that space which is gonna bulge which is what you want. And then you're going to single crochet in the middle one of the grouping of three single crochets. And you're gonna do that all the way across. So the next group here you are going to put in five. So one, two, three, four, five and then come to the middle one of the three single crochets. And then keep on jumping across like that. One, two, three, four, five, and then so on. So if you're ready for the end, just uh, hang on for a second. Put me on pause. And for those ready to move on, the final step here is put five in the last one. And then you're just gonna jump to the last single crochet to finish row number four. So whenever you have row number four, that's what you're doing and when you turn it, you can see you have these beautiful arches that are happening. Let's move on to row number five. In row number five, we're going to just chain up one and we'll put one single crochet in the first. Then we're going to chain three, or sorry, chain one. So just chain one, sorry. Skip the next one and the middle three of the five is where you're going to play. So you'll put one single crochet in each of the middle three of the group of the five from the row below. Now you're going to chain three. So here's the repeat pattern. So one, two, three, and then come to the next grouping of five and you'll do the three right in the center. Okay, so if you need to know how many to skip, you're skipping one, two, three, and the fourth one starts the grouping of, of the three in the middle. And you'll do this all the way across. So chain three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, two, do the three middles. And then one, two, three, do the three middles. And when you're ready for the end, just put me on pause for a second if you need to. And for those that are ready to move on for the final, just chain up one and then just go right to the last one in single crochet and that concluded row number five. So row number six, we're gonna start doing some shell work. So right where you're sitting, you're going to chain three. So one, two, and three and put in two more double crochets into that first one. Now the next grouping of three that you have, you're going to go and do the middle one, the single crochet in the middle. And now you're gonna go right into this chain three space to put in a, a full shell. So it's five double crochets into that space. So one, two, three, four, and five. And the next uh, grouping of three, just put a single in the middle one and do the same thing going across. So there's five in the next space. So one, two, three, four, and five. 
and then put a single crochet in the middle and then the next space. So one, two, three, four, and, and five and then into the middle and then the very end once you're ready for it just put me on pause if you're not ready for it but the very end you're just going to just reach over to the last one and put three double crochets in the last stitch and that will conclude then row number six. Let's turn your work and begin row number seven. So row number seven is going to be the end of the repeat for this one section. So you just gotta repeat then rows number four through seven three more times after this and then do rows number four and five once more. So to do number seven you're just gonna chain up one and put one single crochet in the first one and also in the next. And then chain three, one, two, three and you're going to concentrate on the middle three of the grouping of five of these double crochets and you'll put one single crochet in each of those. And then chain three, so one, two, three and go to the middle one of the next grouping and do the three middles and you'll do this all the way across for row number seven. One, two, three. And then just chain three and then finally when you get to the end if you're not ready put me on pause. For those that are ready the last two stitches are one single crochet each and that will conclude then the end of row number seven. So turn your work and this is what it looks like so far. So let's talk about the repeat pattern at this moment. So what I just did is that I wrote the numbers so the next rows will be 8, 9, 10, 11 and then 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19 and then these two are standing on itself because those are four and five once more. So four to seven three more times which is here and then repeat rows number four and five only which is here. So you're just going to look back here and you can reverse the video back if you want to look at the time markers to be able to do that. So what I need you to do is repeat now rows number four all the way to seven and uh, do that a total of uh, these three times and then do four and five just one more time. So before I let you go and do that just one thing of clarity. See how you got number seven and you got these chain three spaces. That's what you're concentrating on. So if you look at row number four you can see that it's slightly different underneath but I want you to concentrate on those spaces. So when you start row number four you go uh, again you're going to chain up one and then you're just gonna jump into the chain three spaces and put your five in there and you'll put your one single crochet in the middle and then your uh, five again in here and then one in the middle. So just make sure that you don't get confused on what you're seeing below here because it's slightly different but the stitch counts are still the same. So I'm now technically done with this. So I did four to seven three more times then four to five once more and now I'm ready. So I'm going on to row number 22. So I'm gonna put this sheet aside. I will need it in the future so let's just put it over there and let's get up our next sheet and the next sheet we are going to pick up then on row number 22. Now I highlighted this one in gold here so that you can see the row 21 was the same as number five. So you will see that this has already been done. So if you've done the instructions so far this is just there just to give you an idea of orientation. We're gonna start on row number 22 and work our way up and then once we get our way up we're going to repeat number 26 and 27 five times more after we do it the first time. So let's uh, begin to do row number 22 next. So in row number 22 we're gonna be filling in all the spots that you see. In row number 22 you're gonna chain up one and one single crochet in the first. So it's a chain one space so you're gonna fill that in and then you're going to fill in each one of the single crochets with the new single crochet. And if you recall we just did a chain three space there so this is gonna still stay a chain, uh, three single crochets in the space so don't put five like we have been. We're gonna be equaling this out so that we can get on to a new stitch pattern. So just fill in each one of the single crochets with single crochet. Each one of the chain three spaces is three single crochet and then the last space here is just one single crochet and you'll do that all the way across for row number 22. I'll see you at the end of this row as we begin row number 23. In row number 23 we're going to put the spaces back in but now it's going to be aligned with the new stitching pattern that we're about to do. So let's do number 23 and we're chaining up one and put one single crochet in the first one. Chain one, skip the next one and then do three single crochets in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, tw
two and three and then chain three. So one, two, three and then skipping over three single crochets which you can see is kind of in the middle of that arch and then single crochet the next three after that. Okay, so chain three, skipping three and single crochet the next three after that. You're gonna do this all the way across then this is row number 23 and eventually you'll come to the other side which I'm about to get there in just a, a few moments in time. So just put me on pause. So the people that are moving on just chain up one skipping the second or the next one and just single crochet in the last one and that was row number 23. So you put your spaces back in at this time. So let's move on, turn and work, do number 24. In row number 24 we're going to be creating extra spacing now and we're going to just chain up one and do one single crochet in the first like that. You're now going to chain two, one and two and come to the middle one of the next grouping of three and single crochet and now see this was only chain two but now they're all gonna be chaining three of the spaces until the very end. So chain three, so one, two, three and then you are going to then um, come into the middle space here and you are going to single crochet and then chain three. So one, two, three and then come into the middle one of the next grouping of the single crochets. Okay, so chain three, so one, two, three into the space and one, two, three, the middle one of the next grouping of three. Do this all the way across. And then eventually you'll come to the very end like I'm about to. So just chain a two only. So in the last one just chain only two and then you're just gonna single crochet in the very last stitch. And that was row number 24. So let's turn it work and this is what it looks like so far. So 25 is gonna get us started on the concept and then rows number 26 and 27 is the repeat then for the section. So let's begin. We're gonna chain up one and do one single crochet in the first and then you're going to chain two. So one and two. In the first single crochet that you'll run into you're gonna do a V stitch. So it'll be a double crochet, chain one, double crochet and then chain two again. So one, two and then single crochet into the next single crochet that's available to you. Okay, so let's, we're gonna repeat that all the way across. So just chain two and then V stitch into the next available single crochet. And chain two and single crochet in the next single. So one, two, three. You're gonna V stitch in the next one. and then one, two and then single crochet in the next and eventually you'll come into the other side. So just put me on pause if you don't, if you need to wait. For those moving on just chain two, V stitch in the next one and then chain two and single crochet in your last one. And this is what it will look like. So let's turn our work and we're gonna do rows number 26 and 27 as the repeat for the remaining of the section. Row number 26 is your repeat for this section now and we're gonna do it once and then repeat it five more times. So chain six. So one, two, three, four, five and six and that will count as your double crochet and a chain three space. Now you're going to single crochet in the center of the next V stitch and then chain three. So one, two, three and then you're gonna double crochet in the next single crochet down here. So that double crochet is reaching down for it if you can imagine. So chain three, so one, two, three, single in the middle of the next V and then one, two, three, double into the single that's next. So it's reaching down for it. So just remember the V stitch is high. These are low so the stitches are compensating for the height. So single, chain three and then double to come on down and eventually you'll come to the very end. So one, two, three and double crochet right into the last single crochet when you get to the other side. So that was the end of row number 26 and that's what it looks like. Let's move on now to row number 27. In row number 27 just chain up one and do one single crochet in the first 
and then chain two and you're gonna v-stitch then into this other v-stitch that was or to the single crochet that's right directly over the other v-stitch below. So if that gives you orientation it matches each other. So chain three so one, sorry chain two Let's begin row number 27. You're gonna chain up one and do uh, one single crochet in the first. Chain two and you're going to single crochet, or sorry, do a V-stitch in the next single crochet. And for orientation, see the V-stitch below? The V-stitch matches it above. So then chain two and then single crochet into the next double. And then chain two and V-stitch into the next single crochet that's available to you. And chain two and single crochet in the next double. And you'll do that all the way across. So you notice that all the stitches will line up to each other which is the whole point which has made it a nice easy repeat once you got it started. For those ready to move on to the edge, you're just gonna V-stitch the one just before and then chain two and then go to about the fourth chain, the third or fourth chain, probably the third is best and single crochet and that will finish off row number 27. And so what I need you to do now is repeat number uh, 26 and 27 five more times. So back to the diagram we're going to do uh, uh, the repeating 26 and 27. You'll do that a total of five more times. So this is how I usually do it if you're not watching me is that I just write it on the pattern and then I just check it off as, uh, check it off as I go. So just do it five more times and then meet me back here and then we're going to pick up on this row. So row number 37 is going to be the final row and then uh, of this section which we will have completed when we do these five more times and then we'll start in this section one more time. So right now I have just done rows number 26 and 27 five more times. I checked it off on my list and I checked with Santa Claus and he says it's fine. <laughs> so we're now going to move on to row number 38 that you can see. So this gold here it just means it's already done. I put it there so that I, we have orientation to start. So we need to do row number 38 and 39 and then we're going to progress back to rows number three to seven once and then four to seven three times after that. So after we do 39 we're gonna be into a full section like this and then we're gonna go back to row number three. So do you see here row number two was full? It's the same thing. The difference is just the way that it's shaped right? So in, for being flat. So we're gonna pick up on rows number three and you're gonna do all the way to seven and then you're going to do rows number four all the way through seven a total of three times. So let's uh, can progress now. We're gonna do rows number 38 next and let's get ourselves started and ready for the next section of this pattern. Let's begin row number 38. So this is where it, what it should look like and we're gonna continue onward. So we're going to chain up one and do one single crochet in the first and then chain one and see this here the V-stitch you're going to put one single crochet in the first leg of the V. You're gonna put a single crochet in the chain one space and a single crochet in the second leg of the V-stitch like that. Then you're going to chain three and go to the next V-stitch that's available to you all the way over here. So the first one in the first leg, the second one in the middle and the next one in the next leg and you're gonna do that all the way across for row number 38. So one, two, three and just play with these V-stitches and this is gonna pull everything back together so that you can start the next section quite easily. And eventually you'll come to the other side if you've gotta put me on pause now is the time to do it. And for those that are ready to move on you're just going to just chain up one and then just single crochet in the last one and that concludes row number uh, 38 and you can see how it pulls everything back together. Let's uh, turn and work and do rows number 39. In row number 39 you're going to chain up one and you'll put one single crochet in the first one. So if it's a chain one space you'll just put one single crochet in there. All the single crochets get one single crochet and then the chain three space that you have here it's just three single crochets. So each chain three space has three single crochets in it. 
So just remember one single in each single and then three singles in each chain three space and if there's a chain one space at the end you'll just fill that in. So please do this all the way across. I'm gonna come to the end in just a moment so put me on pause now. And for those ready to move on to the final of this row you're just filling in all the spots. So you have that chain one just before the end and then you'll single crochet in the last one and then this will take you to the end of row number 39. Turn your work and now we have to go back to rows number three through seven one more time. In the video description and also the pinned comment for this particular video I'm going to have you go back now and I want you to do rows number um, three through seven one time and then you're going to do four through seven three times. There's no point me refilming all that and having my closed captioning team all have to do that again. So please just reverse now back to row number three, the time marker is there and do all the way through seven and then do rows number four through seven three more times and then I'll pick you back up then and we're gonna continue our journey as we're gonna be moseying on along. So please do that and I'll see you back here in just a moment. Okay, so I just finished my then repeating of rows number four through seven three more times and therefore I have the section. So if you look at this uh, sample now you can see that we started off that way. We transitioned to this fun stuff in the middle and then we transitioned back to what we had been doing in the future. So now we're gonna move along in the charting and let's uh, move to the next page. So right in this chart we've just now finished rows number uh, four through seven three times. So we're ending on row number seven. So when you look at the next chart just down here you're going to notice is that row number seven it looks like this. Okay, so this is the same thing. So just make sure that you don't do that. So when we start then rows number 56 we're gonna be filling in the spaces and then we're gonna be creating this and then we're going to be transitioning then to doing the final uh, section. Now if you are following the color transitions uh, the final edging of the yarn. So the final edge is right here. That's rows number 60 through 62. So if you wanna change your yarn you can do so. But right now we're going to move on to round number or row number 57 at this time. Okay, let's begin row number 57. So just uh, chain one and then just single crochet in each single crochet going all the way across and in the chain three spaces that you have just put one single or sorry put three single crochets in each of those chain three spaces. So one single crochet in each single crochet and three single crochets in each chain three space going across and this is row number 57. So row number 58 we're going to be preparing ourselves for those uh, five double crochet clusters that we had done in the very beginning. But this row right now number 58 is what we're going to be doing to get that look. So we have to get it prepared first and then we'll do that fun stuff in the next row. So you're going to chain three counts as your first double crochet and in the same stitch I want you to put in a half double crochet into the same one. Now the next single uh, the next stitch is going to be a single crochet by itself and then the next three which is the middle section that you see here is going to be three single crochets together. So just get that one and next one and the next one and you have four loops pull through all four and that's three together for single crochet. Single crochet in the next one and then in the next stitch which is the middle one that you see if you're looking straight on down you're gonna start with a half double crochet first then a double crochet and then a half. So you're just kind of making a peak. Okay, so let's go through the repeat. The next one is a single crochet and then the next three you see how it's in the middle. There's gonna be three together there, three together single crochet and then you'll single crochet the next one by itself and then start another peak. So it'll be a half and then a double and then a half. So then start again. So single in the next, the next three are together. You're gonna do this all the way across. The next one's one single by itself and then another peak is starting. So it's a half, a double and a half like that. And then continuing along single in the next, the next three are together and eventually you'll come to the end. So put me on pause if you need to and then to finish off it's one single into the next and then the very last stitch is gonna be a half and then a double and that will conclude then row number 58 and that's what it will look like at this moment. So let's turn our work and do number 59. 
In row number 59 when you look at it back here this is what we're going for. That same concept that we're doing. So let's take a look at it from this perspective of doing it the way that we had been. Sorry. <laughs> That's what we're actually doing here. We're doing the edging but we're doing it in a different way because we need to get it to look the same. So to start we're going to chain three. So one, two, three and you're going to treble uh, down into where you have the three together single crochet. So you'll treble there first and then chain that three like you had been way back if in the beginning if you remember and then treble again into the same three together single crochet. Now what you're going to do in the top peak so the double crochet that's at the top you're gonna do a five double crochet together or, or a five double crochet cluster. It's kind of the same thing. It's kind of a together stitch but you're just using the same base so it makes it a cluster. So you're gonna have that. You'll have your six loops that you'll be able to see. Pull through all six and then tightly just chain one to lock it and then begin again. So the next three to get, uh, together down here is going to be your starting point for the treble. Chain three and treble once again. And then start your five together, our five double crochet cluster in the top of the double crochet that is in the next peak. Okay, you chain one to lock it really tight and then start your next treble. So you'll be able to see where the stitches go hopefully. Chance if you're a beginner you haven't got this far in the video. <laughs> Oh, I bet you might be. Hey, if you are great, extra cookies for you. Okay, so lock it and then continue along. So eventually you'll hit the other side. Make sure you are putting in your trebles because that's what we started with to make it look consistent. So it makes the bottom edge and the top edge look the same. Now in the next section you can change your yarn out if you want to or continue your yarn. It's up to you. So after you get this last one in you're just gonna double crochet in the top of the turning chain that you had been before. So that's what it looks like and you will see it looks pretty awesome. Okay. So let's continue our journey and we're gonna do the final edge on this side and then we're going to then do the edging on the other side after that. Okay, so we just now finished row number 59. So you can start a new color yarn if you would like to and so there's only three rows in this side. So we're just gonna be filling in spaces and etc. and then we'll be doing this shell work and then we'll be doing a special shell here and that will conclude off the story. So let's begin number 60 and I did suggest changing your yarn out for that so that you have an edge. Your choice at this point. So let's start number 60 next. So let's begin number 60. You're just gonna chain up one and you'll put one single crochet in the first. And so then there will be one single crochet in the treble and the chain three space there will be three single crochets there. And then just keep moving along. So each treble and each cluster and each treble each gets one and then three single crochets in each of the chain three spaces going across. Make sure you don't add an extra stitch in those clusters. It's really easy to do that if you're not experienced enough. Just make sure that in between these spaces that you have only three single crochets that are going in at any point. So if you're gonna put them in the wrong spot or a different spot or what you think is the right spot just keep on doing the right spot or the same spot each time and therefore it won't look wrong. Okay, so coming near to the end so you're just gonna have to fill in that last treble there and then the turning chain also and that concludes then row number 60. So let's turn our work and do number 61. Let's begin number 61, chain one, one single crochet in the first. You were going to skip the next two single crochets and put five double crochets in the next. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then skipping two and single crochet in the next. Do you see where you see that bobble? It's kind of matching it, right? So skipping two, five double crochet in the next. Okay, 
Okay, skipping two, single, and you can see it's right over top of that bobble. And continue that all the way across. I'll be quiet for a second. And then eventually you'll hit the other side. So put me on pause if you're not ready to learn. And for those continuing along, after you get this last one in there, just single crochet into the last stitch. And then turn your work and we're going to do your final row, number 62. So let's begin number 62. We're going to ignore this first single crochet. So we're not gonna do anything with it. We're not gonna chain. We are just going to immediately just single crochet in the first double crochet. So we're gonna do that. And then the next one is going to be a half double crochet. And then in the middle one of the grouping of five, it's going to be a V stitch with two chains in the middle. So it's a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet all within that middle one. So now we're gonna get smaller. So the next one will be a half, and then next double will be a single. So you're going to skip over those single crochets that separate them and just come into the next double crochet in the next one. So, so single and the next one's half and then a V stitch with two chain twos in the middle. Well with the chain two in the middle sorry about that. Okay and you're gonna continue to do that all the way across. So single, half, the V stitch, has two chain in the middle of them and then coming back down. So I didn't want to over complicate the edging because really the, the work that's beautiful is right in the center. Not that the edging sucks but you know what I'm saying. Why complicate the thing? More than it is right? <laughs> I tend to over complicate my designs which is kind of a problem. Okay, so I'm gonna single crochet the last one and then all I'm just going to do is just slip stitch into the very last and then therefore that's the end of the story here on this edge. So what you can do, I'll just show you the fastening off technique. So just pulling it through. You would have had to change your yarn um, at least once if you're using the Sheepish or the Red Heart. Um, it's a wrap. And all you're just going to do is to take your strands and put them through a tapestry needle. I believe that this wrap is, um, it's gonna be a higher quality wrap than usual. So you wanna take care of your ends because if you're gonna wear it, you don't want those ends falling out, especially how pretty it can look. So going back and forth inside the project a total of three times. And therefore you can get rid of that. But we're not quite done. We still have the beginning edge to do. And we're gonna be turning the project over and let's begin to do that next. So when we turn the project over, this is what it looks like on how we got started if you recall. So now we're going to do the edge that's going to attach that. So what I want you to do is that we're gonna turn this back over and this is the last page. And what we're going to do is apply the edging to what we see here. Here's the trick though. In order to get this to work, you have to apply two single crochets somewhere along here. So what we have to do is that when you're putting in your single crochets when we're doing it, we have to at least put in two extra and that will get us to the number that we have to do. So you may wanna do like an extra one, uh, extra single crochet about one third in and then the extra one about two thirds over and then it will stay in balance. So just don't add two to the end because that will be really noticeable. So let's begin uh, the first row here as we begin and we need to look at this so that this is on the wrong side. So how we can tell is that see the bobbles how they're popping out? That's the good side, that's the right side. So I want the bobbles to be facing down so that they're, I'm looking at the wrong side. So let's begin row number one of the other edge. So to get this to work, we're going to come in right into the edge that you have and you're going to attach it. and then single crochet. So you can chain one and single crochet or do a standing single crochet which I just showed there just quickly without saying much. So in the space between the, the cluster, you're going to single crochet and then you're going to single crochet the cluster and then here, remember that there's two chain, two spaces there. So you'll put uh, two um, single crochets into the chain two space. So then this is the base of where they join. So you put there. 
So you you just have to remember that there's two single crochet or two chains that separate that. So there's um, two single crochets that go in there. There's one into the cluster, two into the next and then one here. But to keep in balance about two thirds of the way over you're going to wanna put an extra stitch. So I'm just gonna, I'm two thirds basically on this small swatch. So instead of putting chain uh, two single crochets there I'm gonna put three. Okay your project will obviously be much longer and then that'll help me stay in balance. So I'm just going to continue to maintain with what I already know and then about two thirds over I'm going to throw in the extra stitch pretty much in the same section but over here. So I'm gonna put three into this one instead of two and then that will get me the two extra stitches that I need. Okay and you're gonna go all the way across just working that way over. Okay into the space and then one into the base of this right there. And so that should give you the amount of stitches that you need and if it's wrong in any way you can always fake the next row if you really have to. Let's turn our work and begin row number two. So row number two you're going to chain up one and do one single crochet in the edge just like you have. You're going to skip your two and if you just did the edge on the other side you're doing the edge on this side just the same way. So there's five double crochets there. And then you're chaining or sorry you're skipping two and then single crochet the next. Skipping two and then five double crochets and you're gonna do that all the way across on this side. Once you come all the way to the other side those uh, two extra single crochets that you did it should keep this in balance. Took a lot of math to figure this out. So skipping the last two and go into the, the final third. And that will keep all that in balance and you will see that for row number two. So you're gonna turn your work and begin the last row which is the same as what we already know from before. So the final row you're just gonna skip this first single crochet out and just do a single into the first double crochet and then a half and then that V stitch with the two chains that separate them. Okay and then coming down it's going to be a half and then a single. So you're going to skip over the single crochets that separate them and just immediately go to the next one. So single and then half and then a V stitch with the chain two in between and then half and single. So you're gonna do this all the way across. Again I wanted to keep my edging pretty simple and it, uh, I should have said um, your color would be different too if you wanted to have different colors for your edging as well. Again that's your free choice. So eventually you'll come all the way to the other side and then you have the last one. So just slip stitch in there and this is game over. So this is the end and so both sides have edging now. And so you'll hide it in. So let me just zoom you out real quick here. So what we had this whole panel and obviously it's gonna be much smaller because you're using smaller yarn. But we started off here and we have our nice um, five to get uh, five um, double crochet clusters. They're popping out. So we worked throughout the whole sample and then if you did it right the uh, five uh, clusters, the five double crochet clusters are popping out on this side and this is what it would look like. Obviously you will have transitional yarn but it's actually really quite fun and I thought it was a kind of a neat design. So um, please enjoy and you can download this pattern at any time on Jimmy Bean's Wool. Have a good one and we hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.